Alright, so this week, uh, this is a very tragic recording that I'm going to go into, and uh, uh, a very sad case made it back into the um, into the media, and it tells about Desiree Gibbon, and this is the American model who was killed, I think last, I think last year, um, no, two years, um, three years ago, um, November 2017, and she, they basically found her killed, murdered, river brut- um, in a very brutal fashion, and the, um, what I think was happened was that she was, um, the, um, that she had spent some, she had spent some time, um, um, spent some, um, spent some time, she spent time back and forth here in Jamaica, um, I think like her parents or grandparents owned this hotel. This is what I remember, and again she ends up dead um, after going missing, um, missing, and and the thing is up to now the killing hasn't been solved, and her mom, Andrew Gibbon, has recently penned a letter to Andrew Holness, who, as you know, recently won a sec- his administration won a second term in term, and he's been asking if. Um, to some uh, asking to help with, um, with with catching her daughter's killers or killer, and because things that she, she's expressed her frustration like many people with JCF, or they basically she's saying that they've been dragging their feet and nothing's happened, which is not surprising, unfortunately. And see, and like I said, up till now we haven't there hasn't been any breakthrough. I think they said I think yesterday that they. There's some suspects or some DNA, the DNA of some suspects, they were inconclusive, so inconclusive. So up to now, I haven't had a breakthrough. And all I can say is that um, I I feel for this family. I mean, I didn't know her daughter uh, or what she was like, but she, like many, a lot of unsolved killings or disappearances in Jamaica. It's like, it just basically she got lost in the shuffle. Now, the one thing I've always said whenever this case comes up is that they, the family should have a private investigator. I think this, the mom said she did, but apparently that's not enough because nothing's been happening. And all I can really say about this is that I, is this is that I am how can I break this down without really losing my train of thought is that I think this the idea that they're going to go to the prime minister. I mean, that's fifty fifty. Uh, Cause like again, like the government, just like with the with the JCF, I mean that the chance of them actually doing something about this is basically I won't really hold my breath. And again, not to really be negative or so. I mean, hopefully they make a breakthrough, but. The smartest thing the, the family did was hire a private investigator. So I'm just wondering why, the, what deal the private investigator is. Because although I'm guessing he'd have to have some kind of clearance or some kind of um, some kind of permission to get some of these DNA samples from the police. And, and then again, that's, we all know that it's pretty much going to be going in circles at this point. But the things I've always said about this is Desiree Gibbon, and I'm not saying because I'm I'm a detective, or like I have this, or like um, or like I just I was there at the time when this murder happened. But she most likely was killed by someone she knew and trusted. And I'm just wondering, who were the people that she was hanging around with last? Cause somebody somewhere must have seen, definitely saw saw something. And I'm most likely not telling any, not really coming forward. And this is what the frustrating part is. As frustrating, you want to be at the police and the government, whatever. There's there are people around there in that neighborhood who knew her, saw her. She was hanging on some people, and again, most of those. So again, most of them they know who ha- who did it or have an idea who did it. Cause like I said, she was obvious the way she was killed. Though she was obviously killed by some somebody she knew that probably knew, and I'm guessing it's probably that person or people set her up to be killed in that fashion right there, and. That's what I'm just. I just say to the families like, you should be um, having that private investigator or whoever try and find out who the um, who your daughter was hanging around, who was she who she was she close to, 
at this time all right was she seeing anyone and again if she had a boyfriend or someone she's seen here i'm not saying that he automatically did it though but but again all bases need to be covered and that's pretty much all i can really say about this i mean it's a very sad tragic case like the countless others murder victims um in jamaica that um that their that whose killings have been un, unresolved and who are no others who we don't even know about yet who are still um, whose bodies we haven't found yet or who are still missing so all i can say is that hope for the best but i genuinely believe that this this lady was killed by somebody she knew or somebody she knew and trusted set her up to be killed that's all i can pretty much say with this so see what turns up all right so this is for um uh, state of jamaica and the caribbean check out my other youtube pages miles goodson Perrin, miles j productions and real thoughts and miles